Hey everyone. We're going to continue talking about context clues. We've been covering this for a couple of weeks now. So today's just going to be a quick review of what we talked about last week. And um, then I'm going to give you another assignment to do today. I'll remind you of this at the end, but if this is hard for you or you're struggling with it, I'm going to be doing a Zoom lesson today for um, top cubbies at 10 o'clock and for bottom cubbies at 2 o'clock, and we'll go over this. Um, if you can't attend one and you are the wrong cubby size or the wrong cubby side, you can obviously come to the other one. Um, I hope to see you there if this is hard for you, okay? All right. So I'm going to minimize my screen here. And this is what we talked about last week. So I'm just going to kind of zoom through this quickly. But context clues, as a reminder, are words or groups of words that give clues about the meaning of words that we don't know. All right, so sometimes we can use examples in the text to help us figure out what the word is. The author will put in an example and we can use that example to figure out the word. So um, I know we covered this last week, but let's go ahead and look at this um, example here. During a tornado, be aware of potential hazards such as broken glass and sharp objects. So if we we're trying to figure out what the meaning of hazards was, we could look at the examples of broken glass and sharp objects. I know those sound like dangerous things to me. So hazards mean something dangerous. Okay, the next thing that we can use to help us figure out the meaning um, of a unknown word are synonyms or definitions. So synonyms, remember, are words that mean the same as another word. And then definition, obviously, is the meaning of the word. A lot of times these definitions are put in um, commas, so they're surrounded by commas. So let's go down to our example here. If you're in a tall building during a tornado, locate the nearest interior enclosure or room to seek shelter. So if we're trying to figure out the meaning of enclosure, I see that I have a comma or room comma to seek shelter. So that would tell me that an enclosure means a room. Um, and so that would be an example of a definition of what an enclosure is. And then the final thing we'll talk about today with uh, using context clues to figure out unknown meanings is we can use antonyms or contrasts. Antonyms are the opposite of a word. So sometimes they'll give us a contrast or something that means exactly the opposite to help us figure out the meaning. So let's come down here to our example in the middle of the page. Sometimes tornadoes develop so rapidly that there is no time to send a warning. Other times tornadoes develop gradually and there's more time to provide advanced warning. If we're trying to figure out the meaning of the word gradually, we can look at the first part. Sometimes tornadoes develop so rapidly that there's no time to send a warning. That tells me that they develop really quickly. Other times, tornadoes develop gradually and there's more time to provide advance warning. So that's giving me the opposite. So that would be a contrast. So gradually then would tell me that it's the opposite of rapidly, which I know that means slowly. All right, last week you read this text and answered these questions. This week, you're going to be reading this text about um, a boy that's auditioning for a play. And you have some more words that you're going to be figuring out. You're going to be using context clues. So let's take a look at the words. I'll read them out loud so that you can hear them. We have trembled, exhausted, attempted, inhale, prevented, anticipation, precision, lyrics, desperation, valiant, defective, escaped, jolted, beamed, and remarkable. So those are the words that you're going to be using either examples, synonyms, or antonyms to help you figure out the meanings of. Here are the questions that you're going to be answering. And just like last week, it's not going to look like this. It's going to be in a Google form, but these are the questions that you're going to be answering. As a reminder, 
I already said this in the beginning, but um, at 10 o'clock and 2 o'clock today, I'm going to be giving um, a Zoom, I'll have a Zoom meeting. So if this is hard for you or you tried to do it and it doesn't make sense, please come to the meeting. I would love to see your face and we can go over how to find the answers. Um, if not, good luck. I know that you guys can do this. Take your time, do your personal best. All right, have a great day, guys. Bye.